Apple's iPhone S cycle was usually more of a refinement than a revolution. However, Apple shook things up this year, and this year's Apple iPhone 6S is a quiet revolution that set up Apple's mobile strategy for years to come. The Apple iPhone 6S is pretty much the same as the Apple iPhone 6, except it's better in pretty much every imaginable way. The rear-facing camera has been upgraded from the 8 megapixels to 12 megapixels, and this camera can now shoot 4K. The front-facing camera has been upgraded from 1.2 megapixels to 5 megapixels, and now features a screen flash design system. There's a new A9 processor in it, which makes it even faster. There's a new durable glass cover. It's a little heavier and a little thicker, and you'll definitely notice that. Uh, it now has pressure sensors in it that you can use for 3D touch, and most importantly to me, it now has 2 gigabytes of RAM instead of 1 gigabyte of RAM, which makes the phone a lot faster. My favorite feature on the iPhone 6S is definitely the upgraded RAM. Apps and pages in Safari now stay open for longer, and that in and of itself is going to save you a couple minutes each day. It's going to prevent you from having to stop and wait for those apps and Safari pages to reload. They'll just stay loaded, so big plus to Apple for adding 2 gigabytes of RAM finally. Speaking of saving time, Apple has finally perfected the fingerprint sensor, it's marked really faster and more accurate, which will save you time and frustration. Another big upgrade has been done to the front-facing camera. Selfies themselves are noticeably better on the iPhone 6S when compared to the iPhone 6. The most revolutionary feature in the iPhone 6S is definitely 3D Touch, which allows you to hard press on certain apps and icons in order to get a quick access menu. Now, this doesn't make this a necessary feature for an iPhone right this second, but I can see in the future, once developers get their hands on this, it's going to make any iPhone that doesn't have Force Touch on it actually feel really antiquated and dated. So I'm really excited to see what developers can actually do with this. The Apple iPhone 6S definitely does have some issues. The battery size is actually a little smaller than last year. And I definitely noticed that I've had trouble making it through a full day with just one charge on it. And I would say I'm a pretty average user, so you definitely have to be recharging this throughout the day. That leads me to my next issue, which is actually the power cord and the lightning adapter that it comes with standard. The cord's always been just a little too short for my liking, and it's not very durable, so you typically have to go buy a longer, uh, more durable cord in the long run if you're going to keep this phone for one or two years. So I really wish Apple would actually upgrade their power cord system. Another thing I've noticed that a lot of people mention is the 16 gigabytes of memory that comes in the base model of the iPhone 6S. I don't have any personal issues with that. Most of the time I use a lot of cloud services, so I don't store that much information on my phone. But I do take issue with the fact that there are 20 pre-installed apps that you cannot delete on the iPhone 6S. So you really only get 12 gigabytes of space on the iPhone. And I really wish Apple would just go with the base model with 32 gigabytes for that reason, or don't pre-install any apps on the phone for me, other than the ones that are absolutely necessary to use the phone. Even though the Apple iPhone 6S was supposed to be an incremental upgrade from the Apple iPhone 6, in my opinion, the Apple iPhone 6S is the most revolutionary upgrade in the iPhone since the iPhone actually came out. The Apple iPhone 6S perfected the features that were in the Apple iPhone 6 and added new features that really set the future for Apple's mobile hardware division. 